Hello, my name is Andrew Hay. I'm president of the British Deer Society, a role I was very proud to take up at the beginning of this year when everything seemed fine. But my word, what an extraordinary year we have all had. I'd just like to share with you uh, the challenges we've faced, what we've done, to remind you of the important pillars of what the British Deer Society uh, stands for and tries to achieve, and to then look ahead and to seek uh, your help. Come March, of course, we all went into a pandemic and every organisation, everybody and indeed every charity had to quickly adjust. And the British Deer Society was no exception and quickly, ably led by Professor Rory Putnam, went into crisis mode uh, to make certain that we adjusted quickly to the many different challenges we faced. We immediately uh, approached government for some COVID funding, but sadly this was not forthcoming. And of course, we continued our excellent training courses, but greatly reduced uh, under difficult circumstances. In addition to that, as many of our members will know, the myriad of events that go throughout the, the, the country calendar of the year, whether they be at fairs or country shows, uh, of course, they were stopped. And so the result of that was the society was impacted, uh, both in how it functioned from a day to day, but also in terms of the valuable funds uh, that it raises in order to do the very good work that it does. If I could, I'd just like to take a moment to remind you what the society has done over the past 60 years and indeed what it sets out to do. There are some very simple pillars. Firstly, we campaign on a range of deer welfare issues uh, for the benefit of the six species of deer. Secondly, we promote and improve awareness. Thirdly, we support and fund research, which is key to winning some of the big arguments. And of course, we continue to lobby for a valued, thriving and sustainable deer population. But of course, looking ahead to 2021, we all face some extraordinary challenges and particularly the British Deer Society and our deer population. Yes, we're going to have a tough economic time. When you look ahead, post-Brexit, there's going to be the biggest change in farming practices in this country, probably since the Second World War. There's going to be an increased uh, pressure on tree planting for very, very good reasons, and there will be increased forestation. And of course, government has pledged to invest heavily in housing and in infrastructure development. All of these things are going to put pressure on our deer population. What I'd like to do is to ask you to help the British Deer Society in one of four ways. Quite simply, firstly, please make a donation however small. It will be enormously powerful and valuable for us. You can do this quite simply by going onto the British Deer Society website and looking for the button donate, press donate, and you can make your donation. I cannot thank you enough for doing that. Secondly, could you please encourage family members and friends to go online and perhaps do some of their Christmas shopping. There are some great, great stocking fillers there, uh, and that would also be enormously helpful. Thirdly, I'm constantly amazed by how few people are members of the society. Uh, when you go around and ask people, people who have got a great affinity for the countryside, a great affinity for deer, are not members. So if you're aware of friends and family who are not, please give them some encouragement. And lastly, why not uh, give somebody a membership as a Christmas present. If it's a young person, a student, it's a £25 membership, or indeed for a first-time member, £60 for an annual membership. But what a great way to introduce them to the world of deer and the British Deer Society. So thank you uh, for listening and watching this video. Thank you for your support in 2020, uh, and thank you for your ongoing support in 2021. Thank you so much.